And I'm uh, pleased as punch. Where did that expression come from? Is he out here? A uh, beautiful day outside. It could be a beautiful day inside. Uh, you all have an opportunity to talk to each other, find out what you're all up to, and, and, uh, and to participate in this dynamite agenda that we put together for you. So I'd, I'd like to welcome you all. Uh, I would like to welcome you all here today. And uh, thank you very much for your interest in what we're talking about today and, and uh, the commitment that it demonstrates that you, you came out to uh, participate. So what I'm going to do is, uh, just for a couple of minutes, and I know people are going to start rolling their eyes when I say a couple of minutes, but it will be short because we're going <laughs> to stay on time. I'm going I'm to sort of try to run through a little bit of an introduction uh, to our conference today. and. Uh, uh, talk a little bit about what we can expect to happen and make a couple of announcements and uh, a couple of thank yous and all of that. So, um, just in terms of uh, introducing the conference, it's a, a Clean Power Healthy Communities Conference and uh, there's a lot of stuff packed into those four words by um, clean power. We're talking about local clean power and by healthy communities we're talking about economically healthy and robust as well as physically healthy communities, and we're talking about the relationship uh, uh, between those two things. You know, we're, we're definitely faced as, uh, as communities and as a society uh, with some um, major, uh, major crises that we have to deal with, this sort of dual combined economic crisis and climate crisis all wrapped together so that one makes the other one worse and the other one makes the other one worse. And it's a, it's a total conundrum. Our communities are really suffering badly. The climate is suffering badly. It's striking out all over. Does anybody know how many climate disasters there were in, in the past year? Uh, year 2011. Climate disasters are meaning more than a billion dollars worth uh, of damage just in the United States alone. 15. 15. Who said 15? You don't belong here. You don't do much. It's actually the, the same block. The same block. It, was, it, was, it was 14. 14 natural disasters that amounted to more than a billion dollars each. And those were the ones that were billion dollars each. More than twice as many as any other year in the past. And those disasters, that means economic chaos to working class people, to poor people, to people of color in those communities that are being flooded, the burned out, you know, the whole thing, you know, it's, it's just a multiplying thing. We have to really address uh, not just the question of energy, we have to address the whole, you know, social and economic arrangement of things, and that's really what we're here talking about today. We're talking about building a movement, uh, a movement that we build, no one else is going to do it, to really substantially change and transform the whole economic relationship. Uh, you know, that, that we're engaged in here. So, um, I guess in a certain way the conference is really not about energy at all. I guess I shouldn't say that, right? But, <laughs> but <laughs> because it's not about energy, but it is about energy because energy is actually crucial to our survival, you know, as, as people and to other species in our life. I mean, it's food, it's water, it's energy. These are things that are essential to our survival. And if we don't organize ourselves in a way that we can harness uh, those energy resources in a way that serve us, we're not going to be anywhere. So we're really talking about some transformational changes, and we're going to be talking a lot today about how to bring those about, how to really move uh, the ball. Uh, so you all got these conference packets, and um, in there, uh, there is the basic agenda for today. We're going to step through it. Um, uh, we have some sessions in the morning that are about recognizing a lot of the work that's going along on, a lot of the stuff that's being done, what people are really contributing to building local renewable power at home. And then we're going to have a second half of the day that's going to really talk about some more groundbreaking kinds of initiatives to try to push uh, things forward in the future to look at the kinds of uh, political challenges we have and so on and so forth. So it's going to be an exciting and an interesting day. Um, we want to really maximize the opportunities that you have to talk to each other. So uh, during lunchtime, we're going to uh, make it possible if anybody has a set a topic or something that they would like to find other people that are interested in. Um, we have a sign-up sheet in the in the front by the local clean energy alliance table, uh, where you can suggest a topic, and then we'll put little 
you know, signs on, on some of the uh, tables and the lunch tables so that, uh, and announce where those topics are going to be talked about. So like if you're trying to find somebody who really is interested in, you know, uh, solar toothbrushes, that would be the place, you know, that you can find those people or whatever. I mean, I don't know why I thought about it. I actually, I brushed my teeth this morning because uh, solar toothbrushes. Uh, anyway, um, so just... We do have topics already. People have uh, suggested uh, people are interested in community solar, meaning building stuff locally and new arrangements. Uh, microgrids, if anybody's interested in microgrids, we'll be doing a little thing on that. Uh, trying to build cross-sector alliances you know, to, around the clean energy. That'll be another one. And uh, the net metering fight that's going on currently in California, we'll be talking about it, but if people want to gather at lunch. And if you have any other kind of topic, just uh, sign up at the front and, and we'll put it on the list and, and make it possible for you to meet other people who are interested in, in that kind of topic. And while I'm talking about the, uh, the Local Clean Energy Alliance table out in the front, uh, I want to pitch this book. This is called Community Power, uh, Decentralized Renewable Energy in California. This is uh, one of the primary publications of the Local Clean Energy Alliance. If you, uh, if you haven't seen it and haven't read it, you've probably done yourself somewhat of a disservice. Uh, but we want to definitely make it uh, available to you. So we're, um, so we're actually, uh, well, last year what I said is the book was free. People just needed to pay $10 to get an autographed copy. And, uh, you know, there were no takers at all. <laughs> Maybe people didn't understand what that meant, or they just didn't want my signature. But in any case, uh, I'm going to plug it differently this year. They're, they're absolutely free. It just requires a donation to pay for the price of printing. Okay? But I really encourage people to pick these up. You know, they're great uh, presents for their friends and families who don't quite get the idea that local renewable power is... Uh, qualitatively and quantitatively better for our communities and building that big stuff out in the desert you know the stuff that's being built by by uh, Chevron BP Morgan Stanley and all those kinds of folks um, so let's see uh, oh we can't do an introduction without talking about where the restrooms are they're on the other side of the welcome desk by the front there's two women's restrooms and one men's restroom so just let you know if you if you get that urge, that's where you can find it. Now, uh, that's where you can relieve it. I mean. um, so, I want to do a couple of thank yous before we get started. In our program book, here you will see on the inside front cover uh, the sponsors who have um, helped us put this conference together. Um, uh, the sponsorships uh, are really don't are not meant to pay for our conference at all. The sponsorships are a way of supporting the work of the Local Clean Energy Alliance by providing the funds for our internship program. Uh, so it's very important and we want to really uh, thank you specifically, you know, a shout out to the Communications Workers of America uh, who've uh, put up a major donation. These are in our category of power suppliers as, uh, well, as well as the One Pacific Coast Foundation. Thank you very much for that. And then we have another tier, a little bit lower tier, but these are our, what we call our energy experts because we know that it's not a matter of just providing power, it's a matter of significantly decreasing consumption of electricity. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, and that's where we, that's where we want to thank uh, both Cutting Edge Capital, the Bay Area Air Quality Management District, and the Sierra Club for putting in a major contribution uh, toward, uh, toward our conference. And then the others are listed there. Thank you very much to all of them. And then, of course, a conference like this doesn't happen without a lot of uh, sweat from a, a lot of people. And I want to, uh, they're also listed at the bottom, but I want to personally recognize uh, uh, Grace Twang, who has, Grace, could you just raise your hand or stand up or whatnot? Our, our intern, who has really helped uh, hold this conference today. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, we're really pleased to have Grace on board and, and thank you for, for all that work. We have a bunch of volunteers who really put out a lot to get uh, to this place, the California Endowment Center who allows us the use of the facility, the San Francisco Foundation who has supported uh, our work, and of course, Bay Localize, our parent organization, and the interns who work for um, Bay Localize uh, uh, that has just provided tremendous support 
uh, in every way for this conference, uh, Aaron and Kirsten and a number of uh, the staff people, Eva, uh, people that, uh, that have worked very closely with us, Kate, who put together the marvelous uh, promotional video that you all saw, and whatever. So thank you, um, thank you to all of you uh, for, that, for that support. So uh, I think I've just about done it. Oh, wow, that's good. I, uh, I even have uh, time to, to introduce the next panel. This is uh, great. Uh, just want to say that we're talking really about building a movement, and building a movement, uh, that's all about people. It's about pulling together people in our different communities, people within our communities, people between our communities, people in different communities and different sectors. You know, it's about having the kind of conversation and discussion that can really move things. There's no other institution that exists in our country right now that's going to be able to take on this challenge and do what we have to do. It's really about us. So what I, I want to do is I want us to look around at the people that are in the room and I want to have a big round of applause for all of us and what we're going to do in the next year and, and beyond. Thank you. Just as a way of, of getting uh, getting things going, you know what I, I want you all to do is to give a little uh, shout out that just says "say hey" like that. Okay, ready? Let's hear it. Say hey! hey. Now, see, now that's the problem. See, you people are now really serious. <laughs> I want a, a "say hey" that they can hear down in the street. Let's hear it. Say hey! All right. See, now that's it because we have to raise our voices and we have to raise our voices loud like that. That's what it's going to take. Everybody's got to hear us. And it's only going to happen if we deep, breathe deep and shout loud. So with that, thank you very much again for coming.